opportunity to meet new people, to experience new things, and basically to say yes to something a couple of good friends suggested I do that I'd never even heard of before. It has given me an opportunity to meet some very interesting uh, presenters and other classmates, learn things that I had very little knowledge about prior to joining OLLI. My wife and I started with OLLI because we were looking for a number of public lectures and we have gone to Humanities Council uh, lectures and we heard about OLLI and found out there were classes that were much more detailed than just going to a one hour lecture. I wasn't sure what to, what it meant. And so I was uh, very uh, inquisitive about it and anxious to see what it had to offer. So it was shortly after retirement and I was looking for things, new things to do. And it certainly turned out to be a wonderful experience. The people in Ali are fascinating. I mean, the backgrounds of these people are educators, scientists, all kinds of people, and they bring so much, just the people in the classes, never mind the presenters. It means the opportunity to hear a lot of great presenters on a big variety of subjects, and to meet a lot of people, too. The people that tend to go to Ali are people that are still engaged in the community and engaged in themselves. They're people who are looking for things to do with their life and, and want to keep actively engaged. Ali folks who come want to be there. So it's one thing to know a subject and to love your subject and want to share that information. It's another when you feel the vibrations that come from a room of Ali people. A presenter wants to present. And when you, when you have a presenter like that, they normally are very knowledgeable. But more importantly, they're very excited about the classes they're teaching. never too old. We have members from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I don't know if we have any in the 90s, but I know we have some in the 80s anyway. They're all ages and the, uh, you wouldn't know the ages because the people that are attending are active and that keeps you young. So no, it's, you're never too old. I've been in class with people uh, as old as in their 90s and I've found this particular woman as stimulating as anyone else I've been with. Some of the out and abouts are led by um, some of our older members. And it's, um, so no, there's absolutely no upper limit. We had one poetry class and the woman who, who the older, oldest woman in the class was actually 100. I'm 91 and that's a pretty good trip. <laughs> and I'm still teaching and taking courses. If you can think you can get here, you're a potential member. We are just so lucky we get such a variety of courses. There's something for everybody. I've taken computer classes, I've taken current event classes. Classes about history, the arts, travel. How to run a dog sled, how to make a quilt. It's everything from antiques to learning the iPad. Exercising about yoga, uh, and you'd be surprised there are very, very few classes that we choose in a given session that aren't uh, filled well into the, the maximum amount. There are far too many. <laughs> I always have difficulty uh, when the new catalogs come out in going through and and picking out all the programs I'm interested in and then having to narrow it down to what will fit into my schedule. It is not expensive to take courses. We have worked hard to make sure that it is as affordable as possible. We have a $40 membership fee, which is an annual fee. The classes range from uh, one class to sometimes two or three sessions on up to eight sessions. And if you need help, there are limited scholarship funds available so that people can apply for those. 
the members really are establishing, you know, their what they want Ali to become. It couldn't happen without volunteers. And number one are the presenters. I mean, they are the backbone of our organization. The fact that Ali is a volunteer organization has made um, many of the people who have served on committees and who continue to take classes feel very invested. We could never get the quality of presenter that we've had in our classes if we had to find the money to pay for them. To the exception of the people who are in the Granite State office, uh, everybody else does it free because they want to do it. They're happy to do it and um, volunteerism at its best, I guess. I've met some people who've become very good friends of mine. That's why I think retirement's so special. If you can keep on learning and keep on doing things, it makes you feel more vibrant. Brain exercise is good, and Ollie brings that. You never get tired of it, never. I hope I can do this for a long time. <laughs>